up so much already. <laughs> Fantastic. That's yes. my violin. Okay, good. You can okay. that one in your... when, I, okay. when I bought that violin, yes. I didn't know how to play violin. Mm -hmm. And I went to Pavlozzi mm -hmm. in Hawthorne, and I'm left-handed. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't even try any of his violins. Mm -hmm. I just asked someone else to play. <laughs> mm. And I liked the look of it. Uh, my question is how 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 this violin became uh, is it started uh, left handed in the beginning or no no it was right handed and he changed it he changed to it the left to the land. he changed the sound post and he changed the pegs oh okay it wasn't made as a left handed violin it okay. was a right handed violin and I had it mm. changed okay so this is a left handed violin uh, before that I need a story I have a story. A professor, he's a left-handed violinist. He is playing a violin his father made for him. Uh, not professionally made. He was happy with the violin, but uh, as a professional teacher, especially play in a concert, the violin did not bring enough sound. Okay. That's why he asked me to make a violin for him. So in, I think it's 1989 or 1990, I made two left-handed violin and, uh, for him, and uh, he chose one. Funny thing is that uh, one has a big sound, one has a small sound. And I, well, I was so sure he would choose the big sound one, because that is a better violin to me. But on the contrary, on the contrary, he choose the small sound and the left the, the other one. So uh, you can take it as kombucha. I have a left hand violin <laughs> made by myself in 1990, I think, available. Okay, I can sell for half price. <laughs> okay, now well, come back to, to this violin. Uh, I think it's the same, exactly the same. The fingerboard is too low. The fingerboard is too low. And uh, for this violin, okay, it is not good to take it off and pull the wood because the neck is already full size. It's a small, small full size, okay, it's not a huge full size. It's not like an Italian violin today, the make it just too big here. But this, this is a decent size already and we don't need any bigger. So this is not a good idea to take this off and put a piece of wood in between. It could be bigger of course for the time being for the for the temporary it's okay I, I don't have a value make here I don't want to pay like five hundred dollars just to fix that and then I, I get my, my friend a, a good carpenter okay remember a good carpenter because remove this is technique remove the fingerboard is technique it's not easy it's not easy at all many people damage the fingerboard or many people even damage the neck then you're in trouble you the groove is not a problem. To move is a problem. Okay, as far as you can move the fingerboard, then it's very easy to glue them back. Okay, so if you watch uh, my videos uh, in my uh, teaching, I have many videos, I think, how to remove the fingerboard and how to glue them back. And they use what method they will not move and the, the best way they hold each other. You just have to watch <coughs> some of my videos. I don't have the tools here. And we don't have the time here to do to demonstrate. I just tell you as a principle, okay. For the time being, you can do that, but do it very carefully, to 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 especially when you remove the fingerboard, because we don't know what the factory originally used. Some factory use a chemical glue, just glue this fingerboard, mm. which is terrible. Mm. Uh -huh. So use uh, to remove. This we need open knife. Do you have open knife? I think you showed something to me the other day. Yeah. And I said I can use it as a as a open knife. Yeah. Okay. Something like this. What is open knife? Open knife is a knife that you cannot cut yourself. You cannot cut bleeding. Okay. This is a little sharp to sharp. Open knife is something very thin, and it's a little elastic. You need to be elastic. It cannot be too hard, and has no sharp edge. If you have sharp edge, you will, you will, you will cut the wood in. So what is open knife? If you cut yourself, 
you will not cut yourself, okay? You're not bleeding. Let's open knife. Then you put an edge. Put an uh, edge and use a hammer, the hammer here, very carefully. Get right into between the ebony and the, the maple neck. Okay, have to have to be absolutely between. But if you see the ebony split or the then you say the the wood, the, the, the grains of the wood is not right. You have to do from an offset. Okay, you have to find a, a the, the, the wood grain which is right. You have to go down will not damage both sides. You have to watch and do it very very slowly. Take your time. Time is yours. We have time. If you damage the violin, if we don't have a violin. So uh, that is the way to do this. And uh, also for this bridge, this bridge, the angle is not correct. Okay, this this angle is not. If you compare with the the violin I did before, because this 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 violin is left-handed violin, and uh, the fingerboard is low, but the bridge is rather high, especially on the G and D string. Especially these two strings are really high, and uh, it's it's will be of course you a folk musician you play most of first first position maybe you don't notice, but if you play high position it's almost not possible. Now let's measure how much this is. Okay, on the E string side, it's like a four point five. On the G string side. Sorry. Okay, it's six. Okay. <coughs> For as far as I know, I'm I, I I could be wrong. As far as I know, folk music uh, fiddles the bridges is lower than classical ones because they don't need so much pressure on the bow. They play very lightly, so they don't need so much pressure. So the bridge is lower, I mean the clearance, clearance between the fingerboard and the string is lower than the classical violin. Okay, this is what uh, the impression got, okay? But uh, I, I could be wrong. But uh, this is higher, how high this is. This is almost high, as high as a cello. Okay, the, cre the clearance between cello, the C string is six. The A string is Four, but here the G string is six, E string is four point five, so it's much too high. You need to know, even as a violin standard, you need to know down the bridge one millimeter. One millimeter down will make this instrument much easier to vibrate, much easier to vibrate, because you have this the, the angle. The angle is higher. This angle is higher. More pressure. And also because the fingerboard, the string, you have to press down to the fingerboard. So also the string, the string goes like this. Mm? So if more like that, it's difficult, more difficult to vibrate. So it's, it's difficult to play. Plus, this bow has uh, almost uh, you know, no rosin and uh, very old bow. Uh, bow here, it does not scratch, uh, grab the, the strings. So it does not make a big sound. Uh, difficult to play. If if you very very easy thing for for Jeff to help him is to take the the uh, bridge off and also pay, take that bridge off to copy that bridge's curve. Okay, the curve the same curve, same like that, but lower it down one millimeter. Yeah, the opposite. Yes, yes. You, 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 you. When you do the bridge, you, you, you do the same. You just pull it up, upset. Okay, so that, that that's very easy. But uh, the arch will should be same like that, and the string, uh, string space should also be similar. Then you pull it back again. This this will sound much much easier, much much easier to play. And you you will you will you will hear the difference immediately. Yes. For, this is for for this one, and uh, okay. I, now I understand. I now I understand why this uh, uh, this uh, instrument, if I may, has a vital uh, damage. Vital is vital. 
well, it's very, very vital. important. Well, vital, it's, yeah. yeah, it's a, a life and death situation uh, damage. Vital. In yeah. other words, it shouldn't be there. Yeah, shouldn't. No. So if a, if instrument like this, if you buy an instrument, if you go to a shop to buy an instrument, if any instrument happen like that, don't buy. Because uh, this is going to cause trouble. What, this what, what is here, this? Here, here, here. Uh, it breaks here. This part. And then you can see the neck is actually come off before. The, the color here is lighter. I, I don't know if you can see from this. Maybe from here. Easy to see. Yeah. Okay, you see? So, this part, can you see? Yeah. It's damaged. It's broken. It's broken. And uh, this has already come off from here. The neck has come off already. Yes. Before, so they used a very, very, very strong glue to glue it back. Very, very strong. I, c I can all, all, all also see the, the glue mark. Here we can see the glue. This is, I, I don't think it's a violin glue. They, they use a very strong glue to glue the back. So, uh, for this type, because this half round place is so important, same like a, a human, human being's neck. It's the same like neck. If you broke a neck, that's the end. So for this repair, we can repair it. But that is a very high tech. High, you know, I, I think 90% of the violin making world cannot do that job. It's only 10% of, uh, of the violin making the world be skillful to do that job. It means that we have to, we, so, we, we call it, um, patch, patch crafting. Mm. We have to take the whole thing off and we have to, uh, because we need the original look, we need the original look original. So we have to cut the wood all the way very thin and put a new piece of wood inside. From outside look new, but inside the whole part, the whole part from here is new wood. Patch them to make it inside and lift this up, and after repair, you can't see anything. You even wouldn't notice anything. I've repaired violins like this, you know. It looks perfect when you open it, it's patched inside here. So that, that patch is very difficult to do it. You have, first you have to make a mold, make a mold to the shape. Then you make a piece of wood according to the mold. Then you, you glue these two pieces together, then reshape it again. And in the end, it's only a very little outside of the wood is original, but still look original. But inside the whole part, because this is a place to hold the neck. The whole neck, the strength is held by this little thing of the back wood. Mm. If you broke here, it means the whole back, whole human back cannot support the neck. So and this... That's, that's affecting the sound too. Of course, of course, of course, of course. The sound is, 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 is um, for, for us as a violin maker, uh, it's not about the sound. It's about the condition of the instrument itself. It's about the life and death of the instrument. It's not about, of course, for the musicians, they, they care about the sound. They say, okay, if a, same like, a, how can I put it, a doctor, doctor would be more careful uh, this human kind, how long can this man live instead of uh, how clever he is? This affect his uh, intelligence. It will not affect his intelligence. He's still very intelligent, but still, but with this uh, health condition, he cannot think, <laughs> work fully for his intelligence. Mm -hmm. You know, if he had all the pain in the body, so it, it will not fix uh, affect the sound that much, but it will affect the life of the instrument. If you continue play like this, if it breaks again, then it may be the end of the instrument. Yeah. Or you make a new back. You make a total new back. You don't use this back at all. Mm -hmm. Make a piece of new back, put it back. That's another way. We all talk about the value and the cost. We have to, because I have been working with, you know, 
violence with like uh, you know that much money people don't care for this small money they, people don't care for pay like five thousand dollars or one thousand you know ten thousand dollars to repair a violin which was like a hundred thousand two hundred thousand dollars they, they will pay but for a, situ uh, a situation like this you know the, the violin itself was that much and I, this is I always advise people you must think uh, the violin what does this violin mean to you you know some people should have attachment okay if I have attachment you can put it on the wall you don't want to play it but some people really love the sound. I, I, I just love the sound. I like the sound so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you play as as far as it is alive. Because if you change that, the sound will change. For better or worse. It will change. It's not guaranteed to be better. I mean, it does not guarantee uh, the sound what you like you would like. You know, you, for most people, oh, it's a better sound, it's a big sound, but I don't like the big sound. In music, it's so personal thing. It's that I must, do, I like first, I like and I enjoy, then I pass my enjoyment to people. It's not like uh, I play something, do you like it, do you like it, you you like it, you know, I like it, it's not like that way. But it will change, it, it could change, uh, uh, acoustically better, you know, sounds bigger and more resonance, but may not be your own sound. Mm. So you take the risk here. Yeah. I'm 70 in yeah. three weeks. Oh. I started playing when I was 60. Yeah, yeah, I didn't start but you look young, young, you look I young. I didn't start playing when I was young. Yeah. I play other things, mm -hmm. drums and guitar and a bit of muck around, but I only started this instrument in my old age. Yeah. So I'm never going to be fantastic, but I enjoy playing so much. Hmm. So it's the only one I've ever had that left handed one. I bought it from somewhere and they changed it to a right handed. If it was broken, I don't know what the history of it was. Hmm. So I don't know what to do. Just struggle on the way it is. <laughs> I yes, can't yes, do yes. anything else. Yes, yes. Uh, everyone has their own uh, life philosophy, uh, but don't make excuses. Uh, uh, for, for my, for me, for me, is that oh, I'm not good enough. And I'm old, and so this will be good enough. Nothing is good enough for you. You can always have something better. You know, I love playing. Yeah. It. I love yes. Playing. Yeah. You you can you can always you know we only live once. We we don't have to save money to buy things if you don't have bread on the on the table now. But if, there's no point to save that uh, that that part of money there. You're never going to use it. Yeah. So this is my attitude. Like like camera, I, I do I do I have many cameras. People are amazed. How you have so many cameras, you have so many lenses. You know, I spend lots of money because I can't afford. I can't afford. Some of the lenses are just only for test. I, I bought a car, this lens, and only for use for once. And then I give it to my brother. Why? Because I enjoy that. It's because I have the money, and uh, if I don't use it, it not, it's not going to do anything else. So I enjoy my life with my ability. So, for example, I'm not talking about you have to spend uh, fifty thousand dollars to buy a violin for this age. No, no, no. You can pay five thousand. You can afford for something you can you, you can you can enjoy for another forty years of your life. Why not? So those things. We, we, this is what I say. I li we live only once. We don't have to struggle for something, but we we are how can I put it? Uh, uh, we deserve to have those things, we work so hard all our life now. Now this is age, like now I'm traveling, I'm traveling all over the world. Sometimes I stay in very cheap place, sometimes I stay in very expensive place. All for experience, all for experience. So as far as my body can move, I have the money, I want to enjoy life, I want to get the most out of my life. So those experiences money cannot buy. You know, instead of after 20 years, when you're 90 years old, oh, I should have bought this violin 20 years ago, you know, oh, my life could be different if I had that violin, <laughs> something like that, you know. I don't want to regret. No, for example, this time I was in Thailand, I went to a place, four years ago, I passed this station, three years ago, I think I passed a station, I looked at this place, oh, this is an interesting place, because this is market, there's many people there. But the train just stopped, moved on. 
But that phrase has always been in my mind. After three years, this year, I went there specifically, purposely I went there. And uh, even the train station don't know the, 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 the train station because I, I passed by, I took a picture shoo, on the train station. I showed this to the people. Uh, this station, oh, oh, I don't know, wait, wait, check, 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 check. Then I went there, I checked the internet. That is a market for like 170 years old market with history, with a lot of things, interesting things. So I went there alone. Then I arrived there, nobody, not even tourists, not even local, because the market is only happening a certain time. So the time I passed by was market time, so many people. And the thing that I went there was not market time, but still so beautiful, so quiet. And I made a video, a beautiful video with my music and background, and I said something. I'm here. I did what I want. I have no regret. You know? What, got, what have I got to lose? I spend time, money, very well, little money, to, to be there. Then I see what I want to see. I have no regret inside me. So after a few years, if I have something, I cannot walk anymore. So, oh, there was a place in Thailand I want to see. I don't want that. Always try to do things. And uh, <coughs> as far as your ability allow you, with the ability, this is what talking about like bows, everything. You don't have to buy a bow for like fifty thousand or five thousand even. You can buy a bow for, for five hundred. You buy a bow for one hundred. That can change your play. If you can do that, why not? We should we should we should try. It was trying. What do you think of that model? Your bow? It's a carbon fire, yes. So this is another thing about uh, I talked about a lot of um, uh, uh, videos uh, compared with a carbon bow or, or, or a glass fiber bow with a wood bow.